Hello! Today I'd like to show you how to play a little bit more with some 5 inch squares. And I'm just going to do a, actually a traditional block this time, um, a cotton reel block using 5 inch squares and it's what I call a big block with 5 inch squares. And I've made one here but I'm going to make one quickly just to show you how I've put it together. So I've started out with 5 inch squares and I've actually used some uh, really nice shirting fabrics um, and, and just a plane for the background. Now I think it's called a cotton reel block because it's actually quite reminiscent of an old cotton reel in kind of shape and, and style and things. Um, I guess if you turned it sideways it kind of looks a little bit more like a bow tie. But today we're doing cotton reels. So what I've done is I've actually made some half square triangle units and I've already made those because I have shown you in a previous video if you haven't seen it. It was Quilting Tips and Techniques um, 006 and it shows you how to make the half square triangles from 5 inch squares. So that we've started out with 5 inch squares, we've drawn a line, we've sewn either side of it, we've cut them apart, we've pressed them open and then we've trimmed them. And when you trim them down, starting with a 5 inch square, you end up trimming, because of losing a bit in the seam, down to 4.5 inches square. So we're actually going to need um, some of those, plus we'll need some other squares which I've got ready here. That are five inches square but because these half square triangle units have been trimmed down to four and a half inches we're going to need to trim the five inch squares that we're using in the block down to uh, four and a half inches as well so that they're all the same size because what we're effectively making is is actually a, um, a nine patch block um, so all the the units need to be an even size so I'm just going to pop these on my board and I'm going to trim them I'm just using the markings on my board to help me line them up down to four and a half inches so I'm going to trim either side at four and a half inches there and I'm just going to turn that around now and I'm going to trim them the other way so that I've got four and a half inch squares so that they match my half square triangle units that's those bits done and so now I just want to to lay them out so that they're ready to pick up and sew so I need one of these units and I need one of my squares and I've kind of done the stripe in the middle as if it's the thread going around the cotton reel it's kind of a little bit of poetic license I guess a bit of fun and that's my first row then my second row has a plain one here and a plain one on the other side. So they're just three squares straight across there. And then this next row has those half square triangles so that you kind of get this nice cotton reel shape. So then I'm just going to take them to the sewing machine. Having laid them out, I can just flip over the middle one onto the one on my left, ready to sew. And I'm going to chain piece these through. So I'm taking the first one. So I've got it facing right sides together with a half square triangle unit. And I'm going to just sew with my quarter inch seam allowance. And away I go. So this just seemed like a fun way to use some of those um, five inch squares that I so enjoy using. And because I love shirting fabrics, it's just a double delicious project, really. Okay, so I've joined those three pairs together and I'm going to keep them joined because I'm going to join the next ones on. And by doing it this way, with everything laid out, you don't get your pieces all muddled up and turn them around the wrong way, which can easily happen when you're sewing together patches. So now I'm going to flip that one over. I won't flip the others over yet because I'd probably drop them. And take this one to the sewing machine again. And then when I get there I know I've got to sew onto that middle one so I bring up my next patch and I place that right sides together with that one and pop that through.
And then the same thing with the last one. I know that I need to put that, that seam there right sides down onto that patch. So it saves a lot of confusion if you leave things all ready to go. I'm just going to snip my threads and now I'm just going to press that before I go any further because I find it much easier and I get a better result if I press as I go. So this top row here, because of this triangle join in the seam here, the, the seam kind of wants to go that way, so I'm going to let it go that way. Just hold it over and press that over. And this one likewise wants to go into that towards that center square. So we're going to be very cooperative and let it do it this time. And we can do the same on the other end while we're at it, into the towards that center square. push that over and now the middle row we want to go the other way so that the, when we join the seams together they're going in opposite directions so that they sit snugly together so we'll just let that sit out and just just gently tug on that with that seam laying flat it's facing towards the darker square and we'll do the same here we can probably bring the iron straight through and just pop that one over there so that that seams going out also towards the darker square so I've pressed all those now and they're still because they're still joined together I know exactly how to sew them so I can just flip this over back to the sewing machine and now I'm just going to nestle those two seams together one's going one way and one's going the other and do my quarter inch seam all the way across now just making sure when you get to the seam that it's nestling nicely you can usually feel it and get the next seam ready as you're coming up to it and we'll just quickly do the next seam and then we'll press the, the blob so flip that over same thing, those seams will nestle because they're going in opposite directions. And we're just about done. So this is quite a big block because we've used quite big patches. I'm just going to quickly press that. So the seams can all go in the one direction now. It doesn't really matter which way they go. And there we have our cotton reel block all done. Now because we trimmed these down to measure four and a half inches and these are four and a half inches when they're all joined up it's going to make a 12 it's going to measure at 12 and a half inches that block so when it's sewn into a quilt it will be a 12 inch block so that will help you if you're making something like that but they're quite fun to use these five inch squares on a larger scale rather than making everything small and I've just made a quilt um, using that design I've also done a, a pattern for the big block big quilt and I've called it blue reels because my, my quilt is blue and um, I'll just show you the quilt that I've made I've used some fairly um, sort of muted bluey tones for this quilt and I've just uh, alternated the direction of the block so that makes quite a fun quilt it's quite a big quilt you can uh, get really carried away with size because your blocks are big your quilt goes together quite quickly the quilting takes a little bit longer but uh, that was just another idea for making a big quilt with big blocks with five inch squares thank you